Today, I got a special little treat for y'all, and it is the breeding system. Alright, so I'll show you in the link in the description on where I seen the cascade idea and um, where I got the cooker idea from. Uh, the cascade idea comes from. Jeez, uh, I can't remember his name. But anyways, link's in the description. <laughs> And uh, the cooker comes from uh, Biz from uh, the Biz Rebellion channel. Uh, it was a really cool cooker and seems to work nice. So when I do get the cow fully grown, well, I'll be able to try it out and see if it works right. Um, but for the breeding system, so everything cascades and what cascades means is they all take their turn going forward by one. Um, and that's that. And that way they don't all get mixed up. Now, uh, for the breeding part, so you breed them and then you gotta remove your wheat, otherwise the baby calf is gonna wanna come out and join you. And um, sometimes what happens is the baby calf will also push the mom out and send it on its way too, so, you know, it's got its good and bad flaws here, so, alright. We'll go with this. Baby's born. Hit the button. Baby goes down the hole. Two more come. And you. Ah, uh, look at this guy. You got stuck here. Why'd you get stuck? Oh, I know why you got stuck. I bet you that baby followed me. Oh, I know why you got stuck. For some reason, uh, I didn't reset it right earlier. So, where's that baby? Is he still there? I'd be really surprised if he was. Oh, there he is. He's going to cause havoc if I don't kill him. There you go. That was my fault. That's because I walked away with the wheat in my hand. Um, Alright, let's try this again. Deselect. Baby's born. See what I mean? Sometimes he gets out the little bastard. So, it's not a 100% perfect system. I'm going to have some bugs to work out on it, obviously. Um, I'm thinking about having the mother cows drop down one block and then be exited out through a side or something because. Um, that's really annoying, them going back there all the time. Well, not all the time, but sometimes. It's born. There, see, like I said, it's not all the time, but it does happen. And it can screw your shit up, like this too. Like this, it's starting to piss me off a little bit. I'm wondering why it's doing that. Not cascading right, I guess. Well, I got some bugs. Some bugs to work out. But I've been playing with this thing all day and I've been so frustrated. So I seem to have hit the end of my my chain. So let's try again here. Here comes my cows. Everybody cascaded forward. Perfect. Remove the wheat. Baby's born. Inject the little bastard. And you get two more. Alright, let's keep this going. See if we can get a, a good streak here. Baby's born. Off it goes. I guess one of the tricks would be to, to make sure you really see when the baby's born because... See, look, the little bastard escaped. There he is. And he's going to cause all kinds of hell. Just because he wants to follow mommy. Look at that. Look at you. And then there's this problem too. This one guy's not cascading forward like the rest of them were. Hmm. I 
because he's not supposed to stay there. He's supposed to go here like the rest of them. <clears throat> I wonder why. Doesn't seem like it's being held on for the long tick like it's supposed to be. I'll have to fast forward it manually. So like I said, there's some bugs left in the uh, in the system to work out, but uh, I think if uh, I can get all these bugs worked out, well, it'd be marvelous. It'd be a pretty decent little system. And the little guy's born. See, like sometimes he kicks her out, and that's not cool. Really, really, really bothers me. But like I said, I've been doing this all bloody day, so I'm like really frustrated here. But it seems to be going okay so far. And then I think those are just the ones that are glitching out of there. Yeah, so you know, well, there are, I guess, some slight flaws there with glitching out. Well, that's just Minecraft itself when you got too many animals occupying one space um, or entities. So we'll just uh, breed these things again. Oh, I think I can't breed them anymore. I've hit my limit. Um, so let's see what this cooker does. I, uh, I wonder if any of these are full grown. No, well, they're all babies still, so I'll have to wait a little while. Oh, hello, Mr. Enderman. How are you? You bastard. There you go. The trick with these guys is you got to hit their legs. Um, and go to sleep here. And if you hit their legs, well, they won't teleport. It's when you like you hit their body and stuff like that. That's when they teleport away and you have a harder time trying to catch them. So I still have some little bit of lighting issues in here, but that was just an enderman, so he probably just teleported from somewhere else. Um, but back here is not bad, and maybe I could throw some torches on the ground here and stuff, so just for helping with the mobs. Um, so I'll wait till these guys are fully grown, and I'll come back. Look at that. It looks like a cow head in the wall. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so give me a little while and I'll be back and we'll check out this, uh, see how well this, uh, <laughs> this cooker works from Biz. This is my test of it there. And it looked good on this video, you know, like, so I figured I'd give it a shot because it was pretty small. Alright, so I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so they all appear to be uh, all nice and fully grown, so we'll go here and uh, hit a button, and we'll see how well this works. We'll see if we get some meat. Alright, didn't get any from that guy, but he might have just been up there too, so. Oh, we did get some meat, cooked meat, and my leather, so that's awesome. So that works. That was good. Thanks, Biz. <laughs> And thanks, buddy, for a nice cascading system. So, that's that. Um, I guess so now I just have to work on making this place look a little bit more pretty. And uh, I might do some more test trials with um, maybe having them fall down one level or so and uh, trying that. But then, you know, I might have to redesign some other things there too at the same time. So, we'll see how that goes. But other than that, everything seems to be pretty good so far. Um, pretty content with the way it's kind of working. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to keep this video short for today and this episode short because, uh, like I said, I've been at this all bloody day and I had a lot of problems and I tried a lot of different methods and um, a lot of different looks to uh, this. And one thing when you're building a system like this, you have to remember tracks the they always bend one way okay um, and it's south to west or west to south uh, do I have my map on me no I don't but anyways um, if I'm not mistaken <coughs> this is the south and uh, that's the west and uh, no matter what it'll always 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 bend those ways naturally and this is one of the things of why I had to build it on that side and that side. Um, or I would have had to build it straight down, like going this way. And, um, yeah. And I didn't want to take up m too much room. And I wanted to leave, you know, a nice open space. Uh, because I'm thinking about maybe just uh, 
having sheep in holes. And that way they have a, a thing of grass underneath them there and they can eat and then I can just walk by and snip them and collect their wool and, you know, and have a bunch of different colors like on the ground and then I could just, you know, like hide most of this. <coughs> um, I guess I could leave it open too and make it a nice look and try to smooth out the roof with uh, this. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. <laughs> Come and get some. Sugar from daddy. Remember why? Oh, you didn't even make it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's right. I'll grab your XP though. So, yeah, I guess I still have a bunch of lighting issues to do. <laughs> no, I guess I'll deal with that uh, too at the same time. And then I'll work on a pattern of uh, beauty for this thing here. Um, but that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed uh, this little video and seeing that uh, and, uh, monsters can spawn on stairs. Actually, these are half slabs. Uh, are these half slabs or stairs? No, these ones are stairs. So they're spawning on the side of the stairs. These ones are upside down half slabs. Yeah. All right. That's it, everybody. <laughs> I'll get working on my lighting issues tomorrow and stuff like that. And uh, that's that. So peace, take care, and until next time. Thank you.